Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial we will continue with this uh, simple example of Carter Wiffling Transformer and we will learn about the optimization process. Now uh, optimization process is like you know uh, for example you have been um, given this this circuit like you know the source impedance and the load impedance and you have to deduce the value of this impedance here so that you know there is a perfect match between the two uh, so the source and the load impedance. So now rather than like you know the putting the theoretical value if you and sometimes you, most of the time you don't know the theoretical values uh, or rather than doing tuning what you can do is that hey uh, you can tell it that you can give give it uh, you know your goal the simulator your goal that this is the value of s11 do you you want it to achieve for example this is the figure of merit you want it to achieve so what should be the value of zc that will qualify or that will give me that or help me achieve that figure of merit so that's what we do using you know um, optimization process now it's always recommended that you perform the tuning um, as much as possible because uh, well uh, tuning will take you to uh, you know the closer similar you know the uh, closer to the uh, to the value that you want to have here uh, and once you have a value that is closer to the actual solution the optimization process will perform better you know that optimization process you uses the algorithm to solve the equations or minimize the error so um, it is better that if the, the, the guess value or the initial value that you have there is close to the solution and that will help the uh, simulator converge, you know, fastly and, you know, more accurately. So to that end, first of all, what we do is uh, we have the previous schematics, the quarter wavelength transformer and the tuning. And now we will go here and save this as, save as, let's call it uh, optimization or optim and press OK. Now what we'll have here is we'll change this to say, for example, some other value. First of all, let me go here and clear that uh, tuning, excuse me, from here. So we have this value and let's change, change it to some random value. For example, suppose this is 20 ohm. But in general, you should always keep it to 35 because you know you, you did your tuning and you found that that's very close to the actual simulation. Uh, but so, but here just to show you that how you can achieve the same result by you know optimization process in general. What you will do is you go here and go to tuning, yeah, optim, optimistat, and DOE. So you go here, and first of all you'll define your goal. For example, so what is your goal? So I wanted to achieve a uh, S11, S11 in dB. So let me take you back here in the result. So we wanted to achieve this DBS11, or I can just also go here, double click on this one, and trace expression, I, I, I can copy this here, and I want S11 at my frequency of at least, say, for example, you know, 50 dB or 60 dB, something like that. So that will be your goal. Uh, nope. All right. We go here, and in this one, I can just copy and paste that expression. Another way of writing the DBS11 in uh, that, you know, uh, this ADS accept is that you just go here and type in DBS11. So ADS will also accept that. Okay, but let's keep it to, you know, the parameter that we saw there because sometimes, you know, you will forget that. And the analysis that we wanted to, or over which we wanted to optimize this is this SP1, S parameter 1. And it, you, all this, is, you know, will pop up here. So there's no need to remember that. Now we want the uh, limit. There are different kind of limit, like you know, the less than or equal to, and all that, or inside something. So suppose we want this S parameter to be less than S11 that we wanted to optimize it. We want it to be less than, say, for example, uh, negative, uh, you know, um, 70 dB or so, just to see how, like you know, how well the simulator can do. So just type in here. So we want the the S11. Uh, to be less than negative 70 dB, but hey, if you look at the result here, the S11 is not negative 70 dB or something over all the frequency. In fact, at your central frequency, this is what you achieve, and then after that, like you know, it becomes higher. So what we'll do is rather than like you know opt asking it to optimize it such a manner that it achieve that goal of negative 70 dB, it will never be able to like you know quarter wave length transformer is not wide band like that. So it will never be able to achieve that goal over this wide range of frequency. So what I can do is I will say that, okay, achieve this goal over at this frequency. And then I know that, you know, it will have definitely certain bandwidth and we'll see how it goes from there. So 
what we did is we say that okay uh, s11 and it should be less than 70 db and press ok and i will come here and i uh, show you earlier showed you earlier that there is a single point that you can select here and suppose my central frequency is one gigahertz so i want my i want the optimizer to achieve this goal at one gigahertz for now right and i know of course i can kind of you know go here and i can say that okay from linear from like you know five megahertz below like you know for example 995 megahertz to uh, uh, 1005 megahertz achieve this goal but i'm just first trying to do it at one gigahertz and we'll see how it goes from there press ok so we have this uh, s parameter as, as you know uh, depicted at there is no single point kind of you know the uh, in this one so that, that's why you don't see but what you can do is you can go here and click on uh, display and you can also check for example the frequency somewhere is there frequency somewhere yeah freak for example so if i check that you will see this freak one gigahertz here and then you can you know uncheck these things so it will not show up but there is no need to do that because you know after all we, we will change that anyways so we just go here and keep it to the default but you know that you know behind the scene it is the s parameter of it is that single point one one gigahertz frequency is already selected so we have assigned our goal so our goal is to achieve dbs11 of less than negative 70 at because the simulator is sp1 so at one one gigahertz basically and what is the parameter that we wanted to optimize so either you can you know optimize click here uh, dv variable and click on this one and say optimization and choose your enable minimum value that the range of value that you want to vary this and achieve that goal that you can mention from here or you can also go here simulate simulation variable setup in optimization for example i can choose that i wanted to uh, optimize this value and the minimum value for me is 10 for example well that's not a good idea because you will not be able to fabricate that in micro strip maybe and change this to 60. so give assign it a range of value like you know the minimum and maximum and ask it to find a value that will that will help you achieve that goal so now you can see that this param variable is optimizable and now it is ready to optimize this but you will have to put this optimization controller here escape hit this button maybe i will put it here all right so this is how you you uh, structure or you set up your simulation so you have the schematic you have the variable that you want to uh, optimize and you can see from here that it is this variable is optimizable from 10 to 60 so for one variable perhaps you can do it from here but if you have multiple variables what you can do is you can go simulate and click on simulate simulation variable setup and you can list all the variables in optimization tab that you wanted to uh, you know simulate with the minimum and maximum value then you ch define your s parameter value or range of the value over which you wanted to achieve this goal and goal you can you know uh, assign from here you can also assign some weight for example if if you have multiple parameters and you wanted to give importance to one parameter over the other more importance to one parameter over the other so you can you know define the respective weight of those uh, those goals and then this is the optimization controller so here like there are different kind of optimization that you can do but in general it is recommended that you start with a random it's very fast and then this use the gradient later on if it is not able to find the solution using the random gradient is very very accurate okay so but it's slow a bit so we will keep it to random and also they'll keep it to maximum iteration so it will try to solve the change in the value of zc and see if the result you know meets the the goal uh, and it will take make multiple iterations so maybe it is not able to uh, change or achieve that goal in 25 iterations so let's first see if it is able to do it or not so once you have set up your schematic what you do is you click here and oh what did it do so it says that uh it, it tried actually if you click your cursor here and the error initially was 0.8 something and now it tried and it's a very fast because it's a schematic so it has very nice algorithm so you can see here that it tried and did the 25 iterations and it can quickly change the value so you can see the value here is 35.32 very close to what we wanted to have and in 25 iteration it is able to bring down the error between the actual simulation uh the 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 actual value you know and the 
uh, original value to down to this 0.02. So this is close enough. In fact, you can go here. Initially, the value was here due to the uh, initial random value of 20 ohm, but now this value is very close to your goal, negative 60 dB. So perhaps you can accept it. But what I can do is I can just go ahead and edit algorithm and number of iteration to say for example i want to it you know uh, give it uh, you know more chance to try so maybe say for example 100 and i will say okay and continue and what it will do is oh my gosh it's so fast so uh, it did in fact simulate this and it is able to achieve better goal than what I, I i asked it to do for me and it was able to achieve this goal in 37 iterations goals are satisfied so what i will do is once the goals are satisfied sometimes like you know goals may not be satisfied because they are just the goals are so difficult to achieve but what you can do is you can you know read the initial error and see how you know um how that, that error you know how less the error has become and then all, you can also see the list of all the goals that you will have here and put your cursor there and see how far that is to your original goal and you can you know um, maybe uh, you know accept that result or sometimes you will also it will also be helpful if you can change this to gradient for example or some other algorithm so once you have done that you click update design and press ok and it will update the design here and close this now and if you go back here, so you can see that the value is very close to what we would like it to have ideally. And it, it claims that with this, this value, for example, it will be able to uh, achieve that goal. So let's go ahead and check this. Let's revert it back to uh, linear and from 0 to 2 gigahertz in the step 5 megahertz. And let's simulate this one. So simulate button is here. Don't hit this optimization button again. Just simulate button here. And let's uh, put this result as 1.1. And see how that is. Oh, lo and behold, it's very, very good optimization. So you see how uh, what we did. What we did is we started with this simple design, and we we did this simple S parameter simulation, knowing that this value we can calculate theoretically, and then we use the optimization future feature to tune some of these parameters to achieve that particular you know goal that we wanted for S11. And finally, we learn about the optimization process that will help us, uh, you know, um, run the algorithm that will uh, you know it help us achieve that goal of s11 so these are the three things that i wanted to talk to you about today in s parameter simulation and what we'll do later on is i will using all this technique that we have learned so far in the ads i will design one uh, you know quadrature quadrature coupler using a real micro strip transmission line so in that uh, simulation you will also learn about the uh, a transmission line micro strip. So I will put a tutorial on how to use a real transmission line and how to use the substrate information and all that. And then after that, we will design, you know, one project from scratch and I will also fabricate and put all the measurement results here. So I hope that you found this uh, result useful. And um, if you found these results and this uh, tutorial useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much.